Ensure your safety when building a teleprompter for your home studio by using Velcro to install glass. Hi, I'm Scott Simon from Provergent.com and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you how I use Velcro to build my teleprompter. Naturally the first thing we needed was a monitor. I saved this 15 inch LCD NEC model. Yeah, it looks kind of grubby right now, but we'll clean it up a little later. Plugged it in and it works. After finding the monitor, I was wondering if I'd find a case or a box big enough. Years ago, I'd bought a cutlery set. I still have the cutlery set, and I still have the box. It was sitting in a corner in the basement, and we have, well, we're going to set our monitor in, which we'll show you in a little bit, and then the other steps to make a homemade teleprompter. Okay, let's get started. First step is get your box with a lid on it. Second step is to draw the lines on the top of the box where you're going to cut. Leave a margin of an inch and a half to inch and three quarters so that your glass is secure when you put it on. Third step is to cut out the top of the box. I didn't show you this in the video because I wanted to be precise when I did this, but the tool that I used was a recessed razor blade. Push out the razor blade, cut along the lines, take out that part. Next step is applying the Velcro. You don't need to use glue underneath the Velcro because 3M makes a great glue for this. I did use some Gorilla Glue, but really you don't need to. Once you put this Velcro on, it will be secure. And now you have the top of the box where your glass is going to go. And I'm going to explain in a moment why I'm putting the glass on top of the box than rather inside the box. Now it's time to put the glass on the collar. When you have glass pre-cut, Make sure that they encase it in cardboard for safety reasons. So we remove the lid. There's the glass. Be very careful when grabbing the sides. As you can see, I put the Velcro on the underneath side of the glass. I pick it up very gently. Take your time. Line it up. And now you have glass on top of the collar. We put the glass on top of the collar for two reasons. One, it's easier to move the glass on top of the box. But secondly, this collar also acts as a shock absorber. You don't want glass to sit on something rigid where a sudden movement could crack it or break it. So the collar serves two purposes. One, easier to pick up to put on the box and two, it's a small shock absorber for that glass. Before you put the glass on top of the box, do one last step. Wear gloves and just rub on top of the glass where the Velcro is at to make sure that the Velcro secures itself on both sides. Also use a glove so you don't smudge that glass. Now that that's done, it's secure it's easy to pick up, and now the last step is to put it on our box. Again, because it's glass, be very gentle with it. Take your time, stand over, line up. And now your glass is secure on top of the box. Just like you did before, just rub very gently along the edges of the glass to make sure that it's secure. Take your time doing this, there's no rush. And now you have a lid with glass and a teleprompter. Last step is to prop up your teleprompter glass at a 45 degree angle. To do that we're going to use a wooden dowel the length of it is easy to figure out. Measure the depth of your lid and divide by two. In this case my lid is 18 inches divided by two leaving me a dowel rod of nine inches to create that 45 degree angle. We lift the lid, we put the dowel in, we prop it up, and there we have our teleprompter glass angle. Now another reason why we put the glass on the outside rather than the inside. 
If something should happen to the glass on the outside and you need to replace it, it's so much easier to grab it using the collar that we built with Velcro to remove it this way. If you put the glass on the inside, you have to go inside the box. You have to manipulate your hands to the edges of that glass, which might cut you. This is so much easier, doing it on the outside, just grabbing it, pulling it off, replacing it with a new glass in case the glass gets scratched or cracked. To protect the edges of the glass, and what I'm going to use is 3 quarter inch weather stripping. I'll just apply it on the edges, on the outside. That way, your hand won't go into the cutting edge of the glass. So, when you're done securing your glass on top of the collar, on top of the box, line it with weather stripping for safety. Our teleprompter box has been sitting on a piano bench. Now, the reason why I use a piano bench is this is what I sit on to do my narrations. And it sits higher than a regular chair, and it gives me better posture and better video presence. This is something I'll explain in a future video for you. Here's my studio setup. The desk you see is one I used in college 30 years ago. The carpeting below it is something I found in the basement. I put in front of the desk to use a soundproofing. Where my camera sits right now is where I sit doing narration. So when I talk forward at the desk, sound waves that are directed toward the floor won't bounce off concrete. It's insulated with that carpeting. A little bit about my studio setup. In the background you see a washer and dryer, so you know my studio is in the utility room of my basement, which proves you can put a studio anywhere inside your house. Now setting up our teleprompter, you know I sit on a piano bench which sits higher than a regular chair, so I need my teleprompter to be elevated as well. So I found a cardboard box, lid, sturdy, put that as such. Now I'll take my teleprompter box, put it on top. I'll prop that up like this for now. Now if you remember earlier in our video, our LED monitor, it's about four or five inches deep, but the face of this, the depth of this box is about 10 inches, so I have to find something to elevate the LED monitor inside. Well, I found another cardboard lid in the basement. I'll put that in. I'll take my LED monitor now. And I'll put it in as such. Take our time here adjusting the cables. Make sure they're flush. Then we'll take our wooden dowel rod. Insert it so. Now we have our LED monitor inside the box, elevated for good projection onto our glass. It's now time to hook up our monitor to a device that's going to show us text on the screen. So we'll take our cable, and we're going to move it to the other side of the monitor away from the dowel. And here's our laptop that we'll use to feed our text. We'll open the lid, get it connected, our monitor is now hooked up to our laptop. You can see the desktop on the reflective image. Let's load our teleprompter software. I use MirrorScript Pro, makes a nice display. Let's turn it on. There you go. Words on the screen. I don't have the backdrop over the camera for this demonstration, but when you finally set this up, you put the camera behind the glass and then you take some black cloth, drape it over the back of the teleprompter above the lens, and you'll be able to see your teleprompter script much more easily. Here's another neat feature of my desk, and if you can find a desk that has a drawer in front, this will work for you. I like using a lavalier mic, they're okay, but I have a Rode video mic and the clarity is just excellent. So what I did was, 
pull out the drawer, put the Rode video mic inside, point it to where I'm going to sit, and where I'm at right now is about two and a half feet away where I sit when I do my narrations, and just listen to the sound. Finally, Here's a great reason why to use a piano bench. One, it'll help your posture and video presence that I'll show you in a future video. But a piano bench opens up and it's a great place to store stuff. I can put adhesives, duct tape, USB cable, got my measure, got another tripod, screwdrivers, you name it. You can store anything you want in there. One place. You don't have to worry about losing things. And when you need them, all you have to do is stand up, open the lid, and you have it at your disposal. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I hope you'll come back for more. There's a lot of great videos on the internet, how to build a teleprompter for your home studio. I want to take time out now to thank my new friends at the Great Frame Up in Grief Corps, Missouri, Brian and Randy. They're the ones that cut the glass that I use in my teleprompter and for this video. I also have a free report for you how to better read your teleprompter when in your home studio. For that, all I want you to do is now go to my website, www.provergent.com, sign up for my free email reports. Until next time, happy video.